Hey guys, me and team here. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 match. I actually screwed the pooch here and uh, fumbled around and didn't get started on a worker right away. I will be the blue Protoss. My opponent will be the red Zerg Mephs. Mephs is uh, diamond rated a little bit above 1750. So here goes. We are trying out a two gate uh, fast pressure against uh, Zerg in the Diamond League rather than messing around with like three on threes and such. We'll have to see how it works. And uh, here the Zerg makes a mistake and actually lets me see his Overlord. And that is unnecessary to do that. Um, yeah, it's really obvious. Uh, he can actually see the Nexus without entering my field of view. So if he'd entered that and run back, I wouldn't have noticed him. Some people go out of their way to like run a pro boat out in there to check and run back, but I'm cutting workers for minerals as is, so I have to be careful how I use things. Notice I already have two gateways up. You know what's funny is if a uh, Zerg tried to six pull me doing uh, this two gate stuff, they would actually lose badly because I'm going to have about the three zealots out pretty close to the time they would initially hit, so it would just be utter spankage from the zealots. Anyway, I send a zealot right away. I do notice the fast expand scout with my probe. Yeah, a little bit of harassment with probes, so it's hard to harass Zerg or other Protoss with probes. It's pretty annoying to uh, harass Terrans, though. Or annoying for the Terrans. Oh my god, I actually got that drone. So here I'm going to uh, start chasing his drone around, but I have to be careful, and I notice the multiple Zergling cocoon morphs. So I get out of there. I don't want a six on one with my zealot running and not being able to escape because zerglings are faster. My opponent drops a spine crawler. It's a pretty good reaction there. And yeah, he's just gonna run around. So this is an area where I really need to improve my zealot micro. Uh, go easy on me. It's one of my first times doing this, especially in one on one versus somebody good. So I need to get used to how people respond to this to get an idea of how I should micro in response to it myself. Anyway, I see a chance to take out the spine crawler here, but there's just too many lings, so... Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit hosed here. Now, the only good thing that's come of this for me is that he has not spent any time, uh, well, he has, but he hasn't spent any recent time mining, so he's not gonna be able to reinforce quickly just because he's running his drones around like crazy like that. But even so, this looks kinda bad for me, and at this point, I was pretty sure I was gonna lose the match. You know, I just, I didn't think I could win. So I run back. And uh, one thing I did do that was pretty good, notice on Meph's screen, I saw where the overlords were, and I positioned myself just outside of them. And I'm just going to keep rallying zealots, uh, using chrono boosts when I can. And uh, hope for the best, pretty much. <laughs> hope he uh, cuts uh, war, uh, military for drones there. Now he can see me, but now I have four zealots again. And I'm just going to run straight at his expansion. He is starting to get at the expansion saturated. He has 16 drones. So my early pressure did have an effect on the rate at which he drones up. I can see I throw some pot shots on the queen here. Kill a couple zerglings. Then I see a spine crawler. But no biggie there. Yeah, zealots are much better against spine crawlers than zerglings. I mean, look at that damage. It's just crazy. So I'm like, fine, whatever. I'm just going to take out the expansion. Notice he's down to 12 drones again. So he's ahead of me in workers, but not too much. I was feeling much worse in this situation than I really was. And uh, this is kind of foolish. I don't know what he's doing here, but he, he gets to run away. And uh, I'm going to try to root that again. And here I just don't want his zergling reinforcements to... Um, get over there. So I'm going to sit here and kill the Zerglings and just keep bunching up more and more Zealots. And, oh, they kill larvas so slowly. Ten armor, nose. Yeah, and you get two sets of eight attacks, so each attack will basically do two damage, I think. I think that's how it works. Like one for each uh, swipe. Because look, number of attacks too. So, okay, you got 33 on 25. A bit of a mistake on my opponent. He did not react in time to this zealot rush, and now I have more units. And he's going to have to try and kite me with the roaches. This will be interesting, because it's going to force his APM up like crazy. Whereas with me, I'm, I can only do so much with micro, even if my micro is great, because my units are just slow. 
So I do split up my zealots. Uh, force him to run around a bit. Yeah. Uh, nothing too high end for my opponent in terms of micro. And if he's not mining, he's not building more roaches. And just still running the drones around, but yeah, getting his roaches picked off by the zealots on the creep. Not so good. And uh, yeah, now he's going to run back into the zealots, lose even more drones, and he just has nothing. So that will be a good game. Rate, comment, subscribe. The Mian team signing off.